A little while ago, I was visiting a friend at her home, and we started looking at some old lab notes passed down from her grandfather, who was a scientist. These notes were mostly in Hebrew, but as I read them and looked at my friend's Hebrew calendar on the wall, I couldn't help but make the following observation. Hebrew reads from right to left, the opposite of the Latin script's direction. Why are all the numbers in these lab notes and the dates on the calendar written left to right? I asked my friend this, and she was as puzzled as I was when I pointed it out. Why don't the numbers go right to left like the rest of the writing? The very next day, I realised my embarrassing mistake. Let me ask you this, what do the digits of a number represent? This 6 here represents 6 units, the 8 represents 8 tens, and the 9 represents 9 hundreds. This is useful to us as English speakers, because when we read the number out or spell it in full, we say 986, starting with the largest value first, and then getting smaller. But what if we represented the number like this instead? Why not? I mean, if we all just decide together that this tens column goes last, then what's the problem? But that's not the order we say them in. Well, it used to be. This used to be called 900, 6, and 80, and that's still how it's said in other languages like German and Danish. But in Germany and Denmark, and back in the 1700s in England, numbers were still written in the same order, because it's not about what order we say the numbers in. It's about having a consistent way of telling what the value of a digit is. If you're reading Hebrew, the numbers don't go the wrong way. They read from the smallest value digit to the biggest value digit. There's nothing inherently better about either of these directions because a number is just a quantity. There's nothing that says it has to start from the biggest and go to the smallest. And let's not forget that these are the Arabic numerals, so really, the people who didn't switch the numbers round were the Europeans when good old Fibonacci brought this numbering system to Europe. Needless to say, the next weekend I went back to my friend and apologised profusely. And she apologised too for not realising and correcting me, and now it's all water under the bridge. But save yourself the embarrassment. Remember, numbers don't have a direction. That was the video I was going to make. That was going to be it. And it's a fun answer, isn't it? The silly medieval Europeans didn't switch the numbers around, they're called Arabic numerals for a reason, it's all about having a consistent system. And I'm not saying these things are wrong. I mean, it's still true that numbers running from biggest to smallest, or smallest to biggest, are equally valid. But it's a bit more complicated than that. You might have heard the name Hindu-Arabic numerals for these numbers. Hindu. Arabic. That's because although these Western Arabic numerals we're all familiar with came to Europe through Arabia, they themselves descended from numeral systems used in India, ultimately from the Brahmi numeral system. And if there's one thing I know about Brahmi, it's that it's written left to right. So yes, these numerals were originally designed to be written this way. So what do we have here? The Arabs took this Indian system and decided not to switch the direction around, and the Europeans took the Arabic system, and once again didn't switch the direction. Which means that numbers written like they are in Latin or Cyrillic scripts are really being used, accidentally, as they were originally intended, over 2,000 years ago. And it's not like this numeral direction doesn't cause problems for Arabic-speaking people. Think about things like telephone numbers. Telephone numbers are not quantities. They are strings of digits meant to be read out and written in a specific order. Reading and inputting telephone numbers, therefore, is unnecessarily complicated in Arabic and in Arabic settings on phones, and you can't make the claim anymore, like I did earlier, that we're simply writing from the smallest to the largest digit. Yet we need to switch direction, or write from the last digit to the first digit. So actually, yeah, Hebrew and Arabic numbers not going the other way kind of is a bit stupid. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to say, apology retracted.